Welcome back, guys. So we're going to go ahead and continue episode four, Sons of Winter, and let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to today. Aw, oh, dude, you're bleeding all over the place. We're not like wild dogs chasing us. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's north of the wall. Over there. So when were you going to tell me he's a fucking wild thing? Never. Not now, Finn. Come on. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. We can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. Poor Finn, he's always left out. Or feels left out. No, he's usually left ah. out. I'm gonna go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. It looks like a flesh wound. Alright. Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. Not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Nope. Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. <laughs> yes, mister. It does mister. if you don't want to bleed to death. <laughs> oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something, please. I'll see what I can find. Do, 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 do. Let's look around, look, look around. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, too bad. Still don't trust him, you know. I know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would so. he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. It's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. It, really? I don't recall you giving him a chance. But, okay. There's that. <laughs> Someone's still living here. Oh, I've seen this before. Who well, was the bear carving? Don't move. Holy shit! Ah. Uh. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll, I'll gut you like a fucking fish. Okay. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? I suppose. That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Yes. Step back. Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that? Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. Right. You planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Right. Uh... Huh. This... is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. 
Fantastic. All right, now we're at high point. Her house looks like crap, dude. At least my walls look nice. Er. <laughs> Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? And Arthur Glenmore. No, he's I got a cocky Asher smile. Invited. Yet here I am. Roderick, may I have a word? I like how she just says, what may I have a word, thinking? and walks away. Like, Bringing those didn't soldiers actually ask. here is sure to set my father off. As if he needs more excuses. I thought you knew better. The Glenmores have sided with us. I want him to know it. I need you to cooperate today, Roderick. And why would I do that? I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yeah. That doesn't look like good faith to me. Oh, so your dad's allowed to have, wield power, to have and guards, but I'm not? To make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady, give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Ah, he was all thin once. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. How do you know? You were like three. I'm assuming that's her. See, the father isn't one for portraiture. But my mother wanted this made. Or so my brothers told me. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. We should get... These your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Corrin serves Bruce Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Hmm. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. He's kind of a little dick. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. Let's get Ryan back. That's what I'm here for. Getting Ryan. Oh, see, I can't bring armed guards, but you can have fucking archers all the way around that thing Where's up there. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. Oh, yes, please leave me in this room with all these fucking guards. I don't like this. Yeah, me neither. 
Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. Yes, Mother. If anyone here should be afraid, it's Whitehill. Agreed. Let's have a look around, see what we find. La la la. Do do. Dunk a dunk a dunk. Bum bum. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. We came here for Ryan, and I mean to get him back. I know you do. I hope it doesn't come at too great a cost. Mm, we'll see what happens. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! <laughs> they weren't good at the craft. So my mother said, what is this? What is it? Why do they have that? That's like to the dungeons with you after dinner. I don't I don't know. What's Lord Whitehill planning? Bloodshed most likely. We won't go down without a fight. Just follow my lead, whatever happens. Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. He's testing us, seeing what we're made of. Welcome to High Point. Lord, my men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? I could ask you the same thing. All these soldiers... I wasn't the one who invited the Glenmores. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? How do we play this? I want to see my options. Why? You know, don't drink the wine. Your father once called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. High Point is very impressive. It is. Compared to your pile of timber. Mm -hmm. Lot, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? All right. To family. To, to family. 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 She noticed that I was being appeasing. Okay. Now, I want to see Ryan. And I want something too. The uh -huh. Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. Uh -huh. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet... You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. True story. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, Help one. me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he'd protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten... So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. Mm. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick. This could save your house. Really? I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. 
I told you. I offer you peace, and you spit at it. Um. I offer opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Okay. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Ironrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk. Funny you should mention Griff. Have you heard from him lately? What are you getting at? <laughs> He's locked in our darkest cellar along with your entire fucking garrison. You didn't. Oh, I You've sure did. You imprisoned my son. Sure did. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back and we want him today. Bring the boy. Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! Um, what the fuck are you doing? Shoot load in the fucking face. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Let him go! Or I'll have great This is not what we are going to him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive again... You think I give two shits about Griff? Ooh. Ooh. About my Ooh. fucking fourth born? You do. Good boy, I'm Ryan. Kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Good boy. Say the word. Kill me, and we all die! Let go of me! Let me. Uh, go on, then. Do it! What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Just for all your bluster, all your posturing... You care about your son. A whitey is still a whitey. You know what, Roderick? You're right. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Well, really, he's a brother, but okay. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both when the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. Good luck with that, you fucking tyrant. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. I am from ice. What a brave little boy. I love him so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, but that's going to be it for today, and I will see you guys next time.